Hey guys, RB954, and this is my setup. Let's get started. So, we're going to take a look at the monitors first. So, I'll have my uh, handyman bring them in for me. Bring them on over, please. Thank you, good sir. And, well, I don't have anything fancy to open in this. Like, you know, no, actually, this. this is the only fancy thing I have, which is a pocket knife. Actually, it's more of a compact pocket knife. It's got a whole bunch of crap on it. So, we are going to open this bad boy up. I have two of these, but I'm going to show you what one of them looks like here. So, let's get started, shall we? And this is very dangerous. Do not use this. This, if you're not a big fan of knives or anything like that, or if you're afraid of uh, hurting yourself, you can use scissors. This works just fine. I hope I didn't just puncture it. Alright, so we got this random thing that covers it out that way. You don't have to get all wandered around. So, here is the monitor. Can you see that? So let's get this plastic off. And this is one of those screens where it's not reflective. So, it's like a plastic screen. So, you don't have to worry about anything um, shining off of it if you're editing a video or if you're doing anything really. Uh, so, that's what's nice about the monitor, too. It is, I think, it's 1600 times 900 uh, resolution. Which is really good, actually. It's only just below 1920 to 1080p. Um, but sometimes when you're looking at monitors, it doesn't matter what the quality is. Mainly, I'm not one of those people that are picky with everything. Do you have a question? <laughs> yes. How great of a monitor is this, would you say? It's probably a 4 out of 5. Not entirely great, but you know what? This was worth the money because um, I thought this was perfect for my setup, and it's not too big, like I said, not too big, not too uh, overly priced. It was just perfect. Let me take off some of this polyester shield. I might leave some of the plastic stuff on, because like, my fingerprints and doohickeys on it. Actually, no way. Okay, now it's got DNA on it, yay. So this is what the monitor looks like if it's on a stand. Uh, it is very adjustable. It goes all the way back, all the way forward. Uh, it also has four screws on the back, so you can probably wall mount it. it I wouldn't do that because obviously I don't have the, the tool or the, um, whatever it is to hang it on the wall. So I would leave it on the stand. I mean, it looks nicer on the stand, in my opinion. Uh, it also comes with these cables that you see here. It's got a power cable. It also has a cable that connects to, uh, what is it, a DVI cable. It connects to the desktop. It has also built-in speakers. If I can see, yeah, up here on the top, you can see that. And this, and it comes with a cord, oops, an aux cord that you can plug directly into uh, your desktop computer, and you can play your sound through it. And if you want, you can actually connect some speakers to it as well. But for me, I'm probably going to connect the speakers that I have in my room. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is a complete LED LCD 20-inch uh, screen Asus monitor. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to look at them. There's also some other versions of this. There's a 21 and a half inch one. Uh, I would recommend, if you want, you can get the 20, 21 and a half inch. That's entirely up to you guys. I, would, I got the 20 inch because it'll fit my desk better. So now we're going to take a look at the best thing out of all the stuff that I got, the computer. So I'll see you guys in a hot second. So now we're going to take a look at the new computer that I got. And I'll have my assistant bring it over again. You can have that. Oh, come on, it's not that heavy. Bro, <coughs> really? Okay. All right, you can take a break, man. This guy. So, this is the bad boy that I got. This is a 2 terabyte, 8 gigabyte memory. Um, excuse me, I messed that up. 2 terabyte hard drive, 8 gigabyte memory. Um, I don't know the exact components that are in this, but I know for a fact that if a component breaks in this computer, this is custom made. Uh, I can be able to order the new part, replace it, or if I wanted to give it 16 gigabyte memories, I can also add an eight, another 8 gigabyte uh, memory uh, piece into it. So without further ado, let's open this bad boy and see what we got. Did I get the bottom of the cameraman? Or Zach? Did I get the bottom? I can't tell. That's the bottom. Did I get it? I can see if I got the no, tape. I didn't? Okay. Okay, got it. 
All right, so we got some foam. Actually, you know what? I can probably use this because this foam is soundproof. So you know what? I can probably use this if I record uh, commentary videos or if I did uh, gameplay videos. I can use this to surround my room. In. If there's another one in here, I don't know. It depends. This is it, guys. So let's open up this one and figure out what this is. Oh yeah, this also came with the custom keyboard. Um, I might, I might, I'm definitely going to use this, but, with the, but when it came with the mouse, I don't think I'll use the mouse. I already have like two other ones that I can use, but I'll give the mouse a try and see how good it is. It's one of those mouse, uh, mouses that have, uh, a lot of freaking buttons on it. Not a big person with bu uh, a lot of buttons on a mouse, but, uh, I'll give it a shot. So, look at that. It's a nice looking keyboard, not gonna lie. This is, um... It is from the company I Buy Power, which is where I got my computer from, or ordered it. I ordered it from uh, online. But the company who made this keyboard and also who made the computer here was I Buy Power. And again, I'll leave a link in the description to show you the whole setup and everything. It's really, it's really cheap, actually, believe it or not. And this is a good, good setup if you're looking to do uh, what I do, like video editing. Let's see. Uh, how am I going to get this out? I can't sell. Is there something on the end here? Yeah, there is. Okay. So, actually, there's not a lot of buttons on this thing. Can you see that on camera there? Cool. Um, there's not a lot of buttons and components on this. I, I didn't. I looked at it online, and it looked like it had a lot of stuff, but um, not really. That's a, not gonna lie. That's actually a pretty interesting looking mouse. I might give it a try. You know, I might. I might give give it away or keep it or give it to a friend. Because, um, like I said, I have all these other mouse uh, mice. Cable. I'm probably gonna leave everything in here. What's this? This is, oh, I have no idea what this is. I guess this could be um, some kind of thing you plug into the computer. Again, not an expert here, folks. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but uh, I'm guessing this is a cable you hook into the computer. I don't know if this hissy dissy boo bit of crap, whatever. I might need uh, someone to move the box out of the way here. Oh, wait, is this? Ah, crap. I gotta get my hands in the hole here. Thank you, cameraman, or cam the dude over here. Instructions on the side here. Um, I guess this tells you how to un unscrew the. Oh, yeah, like I said, these instructions, if you can see it, these instructions um, tell you how to open it up and customize it because uh, it's only from this side here, which is really cool. And I thought this would be perfect because you know what? This way, if, like I said, if something breaks in it, like a fan doesn't want to work, or if, uh, if I want to add some more memory to it. I can definitely open this up and add it or take it away and fix it. Uh-oh. Camera moved. <laughs> Alright, so let's move this out of the way and give you guys a closer look. Let's go ahead and take the cover off here. I gotta, oh, just unscrew these little knobs on the side. Oh, I gotta take that all the way off, actually. <clears throat> yeah, so let's see here what we got. Alrighty, and it, it's a dual fan. Uh, design. You got two fans right here. You got one right here. You also got one from the side. Um, it is a AMD quad core effects uh, series computer. It, uh, again, this was all custom made. It has two terabyte. It's a two terabyte hard drive. The hard drive's over here. You can actually add more slots in here. Uh, two terabytes for me has been enough. I don't really need, think I need to add anything. It's also multi-format DVD and RW, CD, RW drive. It has built-in high-speed wireless LAN. And it lets you basically connect to the internet without wires. You don't need any all the cables and stuff. Uh, it ha uh, it's a Microsoft Windows uh, 8.0, which most people don't like the Windows 8 uh, uh, 
computers. But you know what? I honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. The new Windows 8 computers, as long as it's not like cut screen or anything like that. It's also a 64-bit operating system. Uh, everything is pretty much pre-installed. I, all I have to do is install some of the software here, like the Windows. Uh, this is probably for uh, um, like editing programs if I had to put Open Office or something. This is also uh, another downloadable update. CD. Um, basically, this is a pretty standard computer. Again, there's nothing really extra that I also bought to add to it. Um, but I will also I will leave a link in the description if you guys want to check out the computer and the components and stuff. Again, I'm sorry if I didn't explain this very good. I don't know much about this stuff, but I do know uh, the basics of uh, what I need and what I don't need and what I, if I want, I can add to it. So, uh, yeah. Well, guys, that is my complete setup of what I got going on here. So, uh, and I'll show you a, uh, uh, what it looks like when it's all hooked up and all lit up and stuff. So, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Also, if you, again, if you want to see the computers, I'll leave it in the description below. The monitors for the uh, computer setup here. And, you, and the best thing, again, is the, uh, you can customize this computer however you want. You can get, um, if, if it has one terabyte or 500 gigabytes, you can add on to that, which is pretty amazing. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Like and favorite if you guys enjoyed. If you have any uh, comments, questions, or anything like that, swing away in the comments below or tweet me up on my Twitter account. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys later. It's five hours later! Hey. Alright, does this look like blinding light? No. Okay. It's recording. I can't see. I can't see! Boo the mic! Do it for the vine! Hey guys, Arbor95 will here. I finally got the setup here. I got the, my buddies still here. Hi! So we were sitting around trying to figure out how to get the dual monitors to yeah. work, and it works. Look at this shit. I don't know if you can see the mouse. Moving it too fast. See this? Yep, see that. Boom! Hell yeah. And look at this thing. This thing's badass. It's got a nice little red glow on it. It's pretty sick. So, I don't know what this flashy light is. It's starting to irritate me a little bit. So, yeah! Here, I fixed, I fixed the blinking light. He did? Oh, he <laughs> put a piece of foam on it. I fixed it. Alright, but All anyway, right. yeah, the mouse glows too. It's pretty sick. Here, let me turn off the light so it looks cooler. Hello. Look at that yeah, Freaking man. awesome. Orgasm in the pan. Yeah, we were orgasming over this. We were like, oh my god. Oh my god. The glows. Snickers. You <laughs> snickered in our pants. <laughs> anyway. Yes. But uh, I'll check out the mouse a little bit. If uh, I may or may not sell it, but I actually might keep hold on to it for a little bit. It might seem like a really cool to thing because it matches everything else you know what i mean so uh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later peace